did look at Nessie's questions and we had to decide uh, whether uh, they were appropriate or whether we needed to tweak them uh, or develop new questions. We had to determine uh, when uh, during the term we should administer the survey to be most helpful for our students and our institutions, um, whether it should be a paper, paper and pencil survey or whether it should be electronic, uh, whether faculty would embrace this, whether faculty would allow us to, uh, to take class time to administer a, a survey, uh, whether it could be sustainable once the grant funds run out, will colleges be willing to pay <laughs> to pay for this service? Um, and will it have an impact? Will it really make a difference for our colleges? So there were a lot of questions, but uh, we did have some of the best uh, thought leaders in higher education uh, sitting around that table um, discussing all of these issues. And um, I'm very pleased that I was a part of that group uh, of very influential, uh, significant thinkers. In some ways, like any other pilot project, that is, you question, will it work? Will it be accepted? Um, uh, will it fly, in other words? So we, we knew that. But what was also different is that we had a feeling that this project, if it worked, uh, was critically important to not only community colleges, but to the pathway for success of low-income and undeserved students, since so many of them uh, were going to community colleges. So we felt uh, it was important to give those students a voice. Now, I'm not saying it's so much conscious feeling, but I think underneath that we have a feeling this is really important work. The, the challenge of retention uh, in the community college environment uh, is much greater than the four-year college environment. Uh, and so we wanted to uh, have batteries of questions that focused on predicting uh, student uh, retention and graduation as well as uh, as well as learning so uh, it always had that dual purpose. Anyone who has ever been engaged in survey research knows that it's no small thing simply to create a strong valid research instrument and our our second commitment was that the items that we placed on uh, the student engagement surveys would be based in evidence and so i i haven't looked uh, for it for a long time but there was at one time on the website in the in the deep background of the website a 300 page bibliography uh, attached to each of the items on the the survey as the demonstration of here's why we're asking this question because there's evidence that says that it matters in students educational experiences and so survey item construction is a sticky wicket and we had to work very hard uh, at doing that. Uh, good news here also is that we had the support of George Koo and his staff uh, at Nessie, and there were certain items that we wanted to have overlap with the four-year version of the survey so that we could look at them uh, and see how the sectors compared. But there were also items that really needed to be constructed specifically for the community college student uh, and the student experience. And so we emerged from that process with the survey all of our own, and it's continued to get better and be refined um, along the way. Uh, so I would say that the survey construction uh, was the toughest thing, and then we did pilot it with 12 colleges uh, in, a, in the first year of SESI, and the presidents of those colleges were a part of, uh, not all 12 of them, but about half of them were a part of the National Advisory Board, and we will be eternally grateful to them uh, for their willingness to be the, the guinea pigs uh, in that development process. Every question on any of the survey instruments that we use was rigorously, rigorously uh, documented. We knew where it came from. We knew how it had been, the, the questions had been meticulously for, formulated. So you didn't have to argue about, well, that's not our data. Well, no, 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 what do you mean by that? No, the students misunderstood it and they're, you know, and you just didn't have to do that. So I, I was very, very proud to be part of SESI in that, in that sense. It, it changed. A lot of institutions changed the institutions I was at, and it certainly changed a lot of other institutions.